Okay, part two. I hope y'all are still here. I don't know, just when I was getting ready to tell you how to uh, kind of like spiritually protect yourself a little bit more, the thing cut out. Very interesting. All right, so uh, this, what I was saying when I got cut out was um, it's very important uh, to do a lot of spiritual protection right now. It's the energies that are coming in are very strong. People are, the frequencies, vibration are, are, are getting higher. But as a result, uh, kind of as, um, I don't want to say a last stand, but hopefully a close to a last stand, the uh, negative forces are getting stronger, okay? They're kind of, I think, making their last stand or starting to move here. So spiritual protection, okay? There's not just one thing. I think I'm just going to highlight two things real quick. I think the first thing in the morning is always maintain, make sure you're grounded, you're present, you're in your body. For any healing to take place, you need to be in your body. So one process that you can do is imagine from God's source creator, a divine white light coming uh, through your crown chakra, all the way down your spine, going down through your legs, all the way into the crystalline grid of Mother Earth. Pull up that crystalline grid energy of Mother Earth, bring it back through your legs, all the way into your heart, heart, heart chakra, let it feel that, kind of then it comes back out from your heart chakra, all the way down your legs, back into the crystalline grid of Mother Earth, and then back up, and then out your crown chakra, okay? That's one way just to ground yourself every morning, okay? Uh, so important to be uh, present. The other thing, which is a more involved answer, but just generally speaking, is make sure you cleanse your energy field uh, at least once, excuse me, once, maybe twice a day. All of us can be picking up energies wherever we go. And you just want to uh, kind of like daily energy maintenance, kind of like brushing your teeth, you know. Uh, you know, you can go to the dentist, get them clean, but if you you don't floss and brush your teeth, you know, over time, it may not show up immediately, but you're going to, you know, have some bacteria growing and maybe cause some issues with your teeth. So make sure that uh, that you um, you uh, practice energy maintenance. That's a larger issue. If you sign up for my free newsletter, I share with you as a, a thank you gift, uh, Donna Eden's 10-minute energy workout. It's really, really good. 10 minutes, you can kind of get yourself grounded, get yourself balanced, your energies. It's a good, excellent starting point. Um, so that's something when you sign up for my free e-newsletter, I send you that and actually uh, something for a brief. I uh, just added it. Anyway, all right, so let's go back to the show. Uh, little commercial, all right. Uh, okay, so we have about, some people have come back, so thank you for, for your patience. Uh, Diane's here, Kim's back. Uh, Brenda, thank you, Brenda. Says love your mini healings, thank you. Okay, uh, again, I, I don't know if Barbara Butler, is she still on the line? Okay, again, we're, I kind of, the comments I had before, so if you, if you, um, if Barbara's there, okay. Uh, also, any feedback you want to give? Let's see. Um, again, um, for some reason, I can't scroll up back. I'm seeing the comments I'm seeing. So if uh, anyone else, you may have written on your request for mini healing in the first part of the video that, you know, got cut off. Actually, the lighting's better now. Very interesting. All right. It's not, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> it's interesting. Anyway. Um, so uh, anyway, any other questions or comments about the mini healings today? Uh, you can type in the chat box. Okay. Uh, again, I'm trying to. Okay, Astrid is back. Thank you, Astrid. Okay. Um, again, whatever. If you typed in something in the first half when we got cut off, I can't see those comments right now, at least. So if you want to. We'll probably do one more, uh, and then I, I think we'll uh, wrap it up for today. Have I done the healing? Uh, in the past, yeah, I'm trying to see. Okay, Kim uh, says she's feeling a little lighter in her heart. Yeah, expect more as the day goes. Yeah, so I, I say often, sometimes the changes show up immediately. Sometimes it kicks in over time. Sometimes a couple hours, a couple days, or sometimes you know a week or so. Everyone's different, and you'll have the experience. 
Uh, okay, so what I'd like to share, what I always like to tell all my clients, be it a mini healing or a full-blown session, one, in the upcoming days and weeks, notice what you notice about the specific issue we worked on or just how you're feeling in general. Because whatever we focus on tends to expand. So, for example, Kim, if she notices, oh, her heart's just a little bit more open, 2% more open, say, ah, oh, great, my heart's 2% more open, and give gratitude for that. Because whatever we focus on expands. Two, all of, all of y'all, I'm going to be very Texan right now, all of y'all, make sure to drink plenty of water, okay? Very important with all the mini healings we've done this morning, uh, there was a lot of, we really some big energetic gunk, okay? You want to keep it well hydrated so you help flush it out of all your systems, physical, mental, energetic, spiritual, okay? And also by staying well hy hydrated, you enable the energetic work to continue beyond our, our mini healing this morning. Uh, finally, after we do this work, sometimes, especially when we remove like psychic trauma energies or energetic gunk, you may find that you're a little bit more tired, you know, you're sleeping a little bit more, or maybe there's some echoes. So if we release some, let's just say, anger or grief, you may all of a sudden you're fine. Also, go, where did that anger come from? Okay, sometimes as things are leaving the field, you get echoes, acknowledge it, observe it, and it's leaving the field. Okay, so, okay. Um, Okay, let's see. Okay, Diane says, I sincerely thank you for helping me. Bless you. Thank you, Diane. Livia's back. Okay. Okay, so we'll do one more mini healing for today. Uh, we're going to work with Astrid. Uh, I'm just going to call it the kidney issue again. And the, the cool thing about uh, energy medicine, God Source Creator knows exactly what it is. Sometimes it's good to have an entry point, but I mean, for this one, we'll just, again, we always work with what we got. So, all right, uh, the sun came out again. All right, all right, so let me pull up my uh, body code app. Okay, all right, so tuning into Astrid, she, she's energetically testable, yep. Gonna test on myself, ask for help from above, God source creator, because that's where the healing comes from, yeah. Okay, we're gonna just, I'm getting guided to just work with the left kidney issue, that's where the energy's a little bit stickier. So I'm just gonna call it the left kidney issue. See what we can, how we can support you. Energies, post-traumatic, psychic trauma. So when two or more negative trapped emotions come together, form a mega ball. Let's see what they are. A, A, B, even at one, three, five, one. Uh, let's see, three, five, one. Uh, okay, conflict. Let's see, and B, B, A, even at one, three, five, one, five, one. Okay, that's come up a lot. Conflict and blaming. Do I need to know something more about it? No. Can I safely release it? No. Do I need something more? No. Can I safely release it? Yeah. Is this true? Yes. Archangels, light team. It's now come out. Resolve and uncreate this psychic trauma energy of conflict and blaming. Resolve and uncreate in the highest, best way and the whole soul, the highest vibration of love, light, truth, and integrity. Good. All right. Left kidney issue. Reason for this. Energies. Offensive. Entities. Evil spirits, negative thought forms. Okay, something else. Let me see what it is. Okay, the way it's coming through, the image I got, it's coming through as energetic bugs. I don't know exactly what that, but they're non-beneficial. Uh, this lifetime, past lifetimes. How many past lifetimes? One, two, three. Three past lifetimes. How many energetic bugs? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 1, 1, 2. 62 energetic bugs over three past lifetimes. Do you know anything specific about these? No. Can I say if you release them? Archangels, light team. It's now coming out. Dissolve and create these 62 energetic bugs over three past lifetimes. Dissolve and create in the highest, best way in the whole soul types vibrations of love, light, truth, and integrity. <sighs> Sending in a blue healing energy in the field. Anywhere that needs extra love and attention now. Good. Okay, left kidney issue. Anything else ready to release now? Visible, hidden, cloaked. Anything else ready to release? Okay, I'm getting a no. So, Astrid, uh, you know, you can feel into your body. Just see how you, what you notice. Thank you. Okay, yeah, Astrid says thank you. All right, so we'll 
the Bow Street can write back in in a minute or so. So anyway, uh, yeah, so we're going to wrap up the show for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, as you know, we go live every uh, Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, if you enjoyed this show, please get a like and love either on Facebook and uh, shortly the next day or so, I'll be posting it to my YouTube channel for people in Pet Synergetics. If you see it there, please give it a like and also subscribe to the People in Pets channel. Uh, join us next Tuesday at 9 a.m. when my guest will be Kathy Homeyer. Kathy Homeyer uh, does incredible work with nutritional energetics. You know, it's definitely important to get our nutrition from our food, and we know that eating organic and cleaner food, you know, supports our body. Nutrition is an integral part, and also we can get some of our, our our nutrition from frequencies. She's going to be talking about nutritional energetics and much more. Has a lot of really cool stuff. So join us uh, next uh, uh, Tuesday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time when my guest will be Kathy Homeyer. Again, thank you for tuning in. And uh, you got a sample, a very good sample, of what I do with uh, energy medicine, multidimensional healing. And if I can be a further support, uh, please reach out to me either on, my, on this Facebook page through Messenger at People and Pets Energetics or my uh, website peopleandpetsenergetics.com. Uh, stay tuned. A lot of exciting announcements coming out of uh, People and Pets Energetics. So anyway, thank you again for spending some time with us. And remember, drink plenty of water. And with any of these healings we did today, this, uh, this session has been encoded with healing frequencies. And you can always say, take what applies to me. Again, thank you very much, everyone. Have a blessed day, and we'll be in touch soon. This is Mark with People and Pets Energetics. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.